everybody, welcome back to another MRE review. Uh, this time I'm going to eat an MRE that actually isn't from 2010. It's my first re relatively fresh MRE. This one is from 2015. This will be the uh, Menu 14 Ratatouille with uh, yeah, mixed vegetables and penne. The date label on this is very hard to see. It's 5280, so it's 2015, date 280. So let's open it and see what's inside. Man, these can be really hard to open sometimes. I'm gonna have to cut it. Inside we have the AmeriQual internal bag. We've got a hot beverage bag. There's a flameless ration heater. We've got pepper sauce, an eighth fluid ounce or 3.7 milliliters. The brown spoon. We have strawberry dairy shake powder. Type two, apparently, whatever that means. We've got peanut butter, a packet of crackers, a nut raisin mix, we have an accessories bag. We've got applesauce with raspberry puree. And finally we have the cardboard sleeve with the uh, main as well. The ratatouille. And that's all of it. Now let's bring out the tray and get started. Oh, maybe I should open the accessories bag first. We got matches, moist towelette, 0.15 ounces or 4 grams of sugar, 4 grams of salt, instant coffee type 3, non-dairy creamer, some tissues, and what I assume is cinnamon gum. So let's start off by heating up the main entree. Oh wow, this one is really... <laughs> Maybe I should have... How does this work? Just fold it in like this. Here we go. All right, let's start with the uh, drink. Strawberry dairy shake powder. You see all the white powder down there? It smells just like strawberry milkshake. All this is powder. Add six ounces of water or about 180 milliliters. Close zipper, shake to mix about 60 seconds. That should do it. And that's a lovely pink. It looks like and smells just like this kind of strawberry milk you could buy for, for children. Let's give that a taste. <laughs> yeah, this is candy. This is... wow. Kids would love this. And when I say kids would love this, I mean I love it. 
Okay, let's check out these crackers. Do we have vacuum hiss? Yep. Nice glittery surface. Let's open the nut raisin mix as well. Peanuts, hazelnuts, raisins, and the occasional little walnut piece. Let's see what the apple sauce is like with raspberry puree. Wow, and strawberry drink. I'll just try some on the spoon. Get the spoon out. Try some of this. Whoops. Okay, got a kind of a reddish, orange, brown color. And it tastes amazing, just like apple and raspberry. So I assume the peanut butter is supposed to be on the, uh, on the crackers. So I'll try some of that now. And I need to knead it. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out, he said with his greasy, slippery fingers, unable to open the peanut butter bag. Ah, damn it. I think this one's ready. Yeah, this 2015 uh, FRH definitely had more, uh, more go in it than the, than the older ones from 2010. Okay, so I guess they uh, finally realized that you're not supposed to open them this way because they removed the notches on that side. There are no notches there, so you can only open them across like this. Using the notches at least. And we are immediately greeted with a um, very uh, spicy smell. Yeah, definitely a lot easier to get, every get everything out and also to reach down with a spoon when you open them this way. So let's try some without any uh, sauce on it. There's a lot of pepper in there. The pasta seems very, very soft. And there's some other vegetables in there as well. It's probably the zucchini I see there, the green stuff. Let's try it. Hmm. Hmm. So first impression, while it does smell really spicy, it doesn't actually taste very spicy. It's got a little bit more flavor than the vegetable lasagna I had yesterday, but it's basically the same thing. Overcooked pasta, not a lot of flavor, and some uh, spice that kind of just hangs back in the background and uh, you'd need to add something more to this to bring out more flavor. So let's do just that. Let's try a little bit on here. Maybe that's much. Not too bad actually. I think it's um, it's not that spicy that it just kind of drowns everything in just... It brings a little bit more flavor to it. And I was just gonna say I like this more than a Tabasco I think, but... Made with Tabasco peppers? Hmm. So let's put... Yeah, whatever. There, all gone. Mix it around a bit. I am a little bit worried that I didn't get a lot of drink with this one. The only beverage I had is, uh, is this strawberry drink. And I don't really feel like drinking it all at once. I think I'm gonna get another glass that I can have some water in.
There, since I used all the sauce, I'm guessing I'm gonna be thirsty, so. As a precaution. So let's try this again with the sauce on it. Yeah, more spicy now. By the way, keep in mind this is a vegetarian dish, so this is not minced meat. It's probably some soy stuff. I saw there was soy in the ingredients. So this is probably soy, and there are mushrooms in there as well. Now let's give those crackers a go. I'm just gonna try them en naturel. These aren't actually that bad. I think since the only crackers I've had so far have been from 2009 or 2010. Above my expectations, but at the end of the day they're still crackers. Let's see what the peanut butter can do. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the peanut butter has a very overwhelming flavor, so it just kind of drowns out the whatever flavor this cracker might have had. So it basically just tastes like peanut butter, which isn't bad. I'm just saying that's all it tastes, but it's nice. And like peanut butter does, it just sucks all the moisture out from your mouth, so you need to drink. So what do I do with this applesauce? Do I put it on the ratatouille here? I think I'll try some just to see what it's like. Try not to squirt it everywhere. Whoops. Hmm, so that was kind of weird. Well, kind of good. Adding the applesauce with the raspberry puree to this kind of changes it from being a bland, overcooked pasta with little flavor to a more Asian style flavor. It reminds me more of a, like a chutney, like sweet and spicy at the same time. Yeah, I think I'll keep mixing this because it was better with the applesauce actually. I'll have some strawberry drink now. <laughs> this is so ridiculously good. Oh wow. Let's try some of this. Yeah, not sure what to say. It's nuts. They're not salted, I think. So it didn't really taste of like you expect when you eat salted peanuts. It was mostly a bit of dry nut taste. Yeah, there's an almond. Did I say that before? Well, there's at least one almond in. There was. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna finish this before it gets cold and then I'm gonna make some coffee. Hey, I just noticed. This AmeriCall meal includes applesauce from the Warnick Company. Okay, so I'm done with the main entree. I'm done with the crackers and um, Actually, I have half of this left. I added a little bit of water to it uh, because it's it's really thick. So I'm thinking it's still very thick. I'm just gonna add water until the glass is full again. Almost, basically like this. So it's gonna have less flavor, but hey, it's another full glass. Mm, maybe I should have kept it the way it was before, but this is still amazingly good, it's just, a bit too watery now, but maybe before it was a bit too thick, so a tad more water than it says on the instructions would be good, but not this much. Still, it's amazing. Okay, while I was finishing up the meal, I put some water to boil, and I'm gonna mix the coffee up now. I'll just have the rest of this first. What a winner! Okay, coffee instant type 3. Add a quarter canteen cup, six ounces of hot or cold water, and stir. Yeah, that dissolved quickly. Typical powder coffee smell. That's too watered down for me. Yeah, I should learn my lesson and use much less water next time I use powder coffee. I like my coffee really strong and black. And I'm gonna try these cinnamon gums as well. Uh, I know what they taste like, but the other ones I had were from 2010 and these are newer, so... 
one does not simply open this. There we go. Yeah, I can't make an AB comparison with the one from 2010, but I imagine that this one has a bit more flavor left and isn't as tough to chew. Though I didn't have any complaints about the other one as far as I can remember, but... Well, now that I've finished all of this, I've got to say that this was similar to the vegetable lasagna that I had yesterday. Again, the main entree was bland and the pasta felt overcooked. There wasn't a lot of flavor to it. It wasn't disgusting by, by any means, but it felt like bland flavor with spices. And the way to save that was to use the hot sauce. Maybe the Tabasco I had with the vegetable lasagna was old because it didn't add as much flavor as this sauce did. However, it was not exactly the same sauce, so you never know. But like with the vegetable lasagna, this ration was saved by the additional stuff you got with it. Like this applesauce with raspberry puree. It was somewhere between applesauce and candy. Uh, it was really... It had a very nice mixture of apple and raspberry. And mixing that with the ratatouille made it more of a chutney uh, kind of flavor. So that saved it, definitely. The crackers were nice, actually. Uh, maybe they're just standard crackers, I don't know. But I just never had any uh, fresh crackers, so to speak. Peanut butter drains the saliva from your mouth, as you know. But is essentially what is giving you taste when you eat the crackers. The nuts and raisin mix, well, it's nuts and raisins, non-salted nuts. The strawberry milk, it was fantastic. I could buy this and just drink this. It was so good. You can pour more water into it and makes it water it down a bit. It loses a lot of flavor then, so I don't recommend you do it too much, but maybe just a little, you know, a hair more than the instructions say, unless you like that thick milkshakey texture. But if you're really thirsty, you probably want something that is easier to drink and gives more, uh, more liquid. The powdered coffee is powdered coffee, not much to say about that. And the cinnamon gum, yeah, it's nice. Again, not something I'm used to in Sweden, but no complaints. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.